Before we investigate the statement, it's vital to handle the meaning of what's in question. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, marks a great accomplishment in scientific advancement. Spanning 17 miles, this modern array of superconducting magnets stands as the largest and most powerful particle accelerator ever created. It serves as a symbol of human ingenuity and the extraordinary achievements we've made in understanding science. Amazingly, the LHC is capable of recreating the conditions that existed during the earliest moments of the universe. 35 seconds. However, as we venture into the cosmic unknown, a significant question arises. Could this machine, which aims to uncover the universe's deepest mysteries, also expose us to unforeseen dangers? Founded in 1954, CERN is one of the world's most respected scientific institutions. With 23 member nations and a vast community of experts, it serves as a hub for collaborative research and groundbreaking discoveries. Although the LHC is its flagship project, it is just one part of a wide range of particle accelerators and experiments. Think of it not as a racetrack for vehicles or horses, but as one for subatomic particles engaged in a high-stakes competition to test the limits of speed, precision, and the very essence of reality. 1 minute and 10 seconds. Within the LHC, protons are accelerated to speeds approaching the speed of light, mimicking the energy levels that were present at the moment of the Big Bang. The resulting collisions reach temperatures that far exceed the core of the sun. A system of magnets guides the protons along their paths, while advanced cooling systems maintain the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. These collisions are deliberately orchestrated at four specific points within the accelerator, where specialized detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALIS, and LHCB, collect data. Each detector has a unique function, providing a different perspective on the aftermath of these high-energy impacts. Together, they act as colossal cameras, capturing the aftermath of these collisions. Scientists meticulously analyze the debris to identify elusive particles, such as the Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle, and other phenomena that could illuminate the fundamental building blocks of the universe. 2 minutes and 14 seconds. By focusing on subatomic particles, researchers aim to understand the very structure of the universe. Yet, every new discovery at the LHC raises even more questions. The LHC is not just a machine, it represents humanity's unwavering curiosity and relentless pursuit of knowledge. It symbolizes our desire to understand the forces that shape our reality. However, as we push the boundaries of the unknown, we must confront the ethical and existential dilemmas that come with it. What dangers could arise from probing the unknown? Could our quest for knowledge unleash forces beyond our control? At CERN, where the limits of human understanding are being stretched to their maximum, a troubling realization has emerged, one that has unsettled even the most seasoned scientists. 3 minutes and 21 seconds. Brian Cox, a former CERN researcher and a highly respected figure in particle physics, recently made a chilling statement that has both intrigued and alarmed people worldwide. Cox revealed that the LHC's purpose is to recreate a miniature version of the Big Bang, essentially, a tiny Big Bang. He elaborated on the immense potential of the LHC to unlock groundbreaking discoveries, such as unraveling the mysteries of dark matter, a substance that makes up most of the universe. The possibility of harnessing the fundamental forces of the universe is undoubtedly fascinating, but it also comes with significant risks. The miniature Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept, it is a real phenomenon that occurs within the LHC. 3 minutes and 54 seconds. The collider replicates conditions of extreme heat, pressure, and energy, mirroring the environment at the universe's birth, perhaps even the birth of time itself. Yet, with such immense power comes great responsibility. What if something goes wrong? This concern is not new. Back in 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced an incident that forever changed his life. While working with the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, a malfunction caused a proton beam to accidentally cross his path. The beam, traveling at unimaginable speeds, pierced his skull, entering from the back and exiting through his nose. Though struck by a flash of light brighter than a thousand suns, Bugorsky remained conscious and sought medical attention. The aftermath was both surprising and terrifying. He lost hearing in one ear and suffered partial facial paralysis. Despite the severity of his injury, his cognitive abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific work. 
Bugorsky's experience serves as a grim reminder of the power and potential dangers associated with particle accelerators. Five minutes and three seconds. The dangers of devices like the LHC should never be underestimated. Some scientists have voiced concerns about the possibility of unforeseen reactions that could alter the very fabric of reality. For instance, there are fears that the LHC could potentially create a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so intense that not even light can escape. These catastrophic forces exist at the edges of the universe. The idea that the LHC could create even a tiny black hole is both awe-inspiring and frightening. Could such a black hole grow uncontrollably, ultimately consuming the Earth from the inside out? CERN scientists have tried to reassure the public, asserting that any black hole formed within the collider would be highly unstable and would vanish almost instantly. Nevertheless, the remote possibility of such an event has sparked widespread debate and concern. Six minutes and seven seconds. To understand how the LHC could create a black hole, it is crucial to grasp the basic mechanics of a particle accelerator. When protons collide at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it can distort the very fabric of reality. Imagine a trampoline stretched tightly, with a heavy object dropped onto it. The fabric bends, and if the object is heavy enough, it can create a depression deep enough to pull anything nearby into it. This analogy offers a glimpse into how the LHC could affect spacetime at a quantum level, where the laws of physics become unpredictable. A theory suggests that extra dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time could exist. If such extra dimensions do exist, the LHC could potentially access them, possibly creating a gravitational well that leads to a tiny black hole. This possibility has drawn the attention of renowned physicists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, Hawking warned that the Higgs boson could become unstable at extreme energy levels, potentially triggering catastrophic events, such as vacuum decay. Sir Martin Rees, a distinguished astrophysicist, also raised alarms about the LHC's experiments. In his book on humanity's future, Rees acknowledged that while the chances of such an event were low, even a small probability warranted serious consideration. The stakes are incredibly high, and the margin for error is razor thin. 7 minutes and 44 seconds. CERN scientists have conducted numerous simulations and studies, taking every precaution to ensure the safety of their experiments. Brian Cox himself has addressed concerns surrounding the LHC, emphasizing that strict safety protocols are in place. These measures in in LHC experiments are far lower than those that naturally occur on Earth. Even if a black hole were to form, it would be so small and unstable that it would immediately dissipate, releasing energy in a burst, as predicted by Hawking's theory of radiation. Some have speculated that the LHC's experiments could open a gateway to another universe or dimension. While mainstream scientists largely dismiss this idea, it has captured the public's imagination. Could the collider accidentally unleash forces or entities we do not fully understand? 8 minutes and 14 seconds. The concept of parallel dimensions is not a new one. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, suggests the existence of more than the four dimensions we experience, three of space and one of time. These additional dimensions might be hidden from our senses but could theoretically be accessed under extreme conditions. Imagine the LHC as a key unlocking doors to realms that have remained concealed since the dawn of time. When protons collide at energies unprecedented on Earth, they could create ripples that test these hidden dimensions. While this remains speculative, it highlights the allure of the unknown. The potential of discovering other dimensions continues to captivate the public. Although most scientists are skeptical that the LHC will open a portal to another universe, or to something far more terrifying, questions linger. 9 minutes and 19 seconds. Should we be concerned about the risks associated with the LHC? It's easy to get caught up in sensational headlines and fears of cosmic catastrophes. However, the reality is that scientists at CERN are fully aware of the potential risks and have taken every precaution to ensure the safety of their experiments. They continuously monitor and review their work with the highest level of diligence. The potential benefits of their research, such as unraveling the mysteries of dark matter, discovering new particles, and advancing our understanding of the universe, are truly remarkable. These breakthroughs represent a significant leap forward in human knowledge, but they do come with inherent risks. As with all groundbreaking scientific endeavors, 
the balance between reward and risk must be carefully weighed, while the dangers of the LHC often dominate public discourse, it's essential to understand the purpose behind this monumental project. At its core, the LHC represents humanity's insatiable curiosity and desire to decode the universe's most profound mysteries. By attempting to answer questions such as the origins of the cosmos, the nature of dark matter, and the mechanics of fundamental forces, the LHC is pushing the boundaries of what we know about reality. The LHC's discoveries have already reshaped our understanding of physics. For instance, the confirmation of the Higgs boson in 2012 was a groundbreaking achievement that validated the standard model of particle physics, a theoretical framework that explains how particles acquire mass. However, with every new discovery, the scope of inquiry only expands, revealing how much more there is to uncover. 10 minutes and 21 seconds. The pursuit of knowledge at this scale is not without its philosophical and existential implications. Are there limits to what we should explore? Do we risk creating phenomena that could spiral out of control, potentially endangering humanity itself? These questions fuel an ongoing debate about the moral and ethical responsibilities of scientists engaged in high-energy physics experiments. The history of science is filled with moments where fears accompanied innovation. The discovery of nuclear fission in the mid-20th century, for example, led to revolutionary advancements in energy production, but also to the development of devastating nuclear weapons. Similarly, the LHC is a double-edged sword, with the potential to yield extraordinary insights while posing risks that cannot be entirely dismissed. 10 minutes and 57 seconds. Despite the challenges, the LHC has become a beacon of international collaboration. Scientists from around the globe, spanning different cultures, nations, and fields of expertise, work together at CERN to achieve a shared goal, advancing humanity's understanding of the universe. This spirit of cooperation is a testament to the collective will to overcome barriers and embrace the unknown. Nevertheless, the risks associated with such experimentation are not lost on the scientific community. While speculative concerns, like the formation of miniature black holes or the destabilization of the vacuum, may seem far-fetched, they underscore the complexity and unpredictability of exploring uncharted scientific territory. 11 minutes and 31 seconds. At CERN, safety is paramount. Every experiment is preceded by exhaustive simulations, theoretical analyses, and rigorous risk assessments. The energy levels within the LHC, though immense by earthly standards, are still significantly lower than those produced naturally by cosmic rays that bombard the Earth's atmosphere. These natural high-energy collisions occur every day without catastrophic consequences, lending credence to the argument that the LHC poses minimal risk. Brian Cox and other experts consistently reiterate that the LHC operates within the bounds of safety. However, the mere act of addressing these concerns has sparked a broader conversation about the boundaries of human ingenuity and the unforeseen consequences of tampering with the unknown. 12 minutes and 4 seconds. As humanity ventures further into the realms of high-energy physics, one thing is clear. The LHC is more than just a machine, it is a symbol of our quest to understand the cosmos. It challenges us to confront profound questions about the nature of reality, the limits of our understanding, and the responsibility that comes with wielding such immense power. The work at CERN reminds us that science, at its best, is a reflection of humanity's relentless drive to expand its horizons. However, as we seek answers to the mysteries of the universe, we must also remain mindful of the ethical, philosophical, and existential dilemmas that accompany such endeavors. The Large Hadron Collider stands as both a marvel of human achievement and a reminder of the delicate balance between curiosity and caution. In the pursuit of knowledge, it is essential that we tread carefully, with humility and an unwavering commitment to the safety and well-being of humanity.